Hi, it's Logan Christopher from LostArtOfHandBalancing.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a backflip. Now if you've never worked on this skill I really don't recommend that you train for it without the help of someone who knows how to do this stuff. I do not recommend you go out and do this on your own. I'm going to show you some of the important steps that you need to work up to doing the backflip and how you want it to look when you have it down. So I'm going to show you different ways of me doing it, what's worse and what's better. But if you've never tried this before, once again, don't try this at home. Unless you're a trained professional or have the help of trained professionals and the proper facilities. Sand is not the best spot. Neither is grass. Uh, I think that's enough disclaimers, so let's get to it. important thing in the backflip, jump up and fully extend yourself, tuck hard with the legs, pulling them in toward you, and th third is landing. And with the landing you don't want to extend your legs too quickly, you want to keep tucked most of the way, and then once you are in the right spot then you extend your legs and come to the same position. If you do any of these wrong, you can still pull off the backflip, but it won't be the best backflip. You don't have to jump as high as you can, but you do want to get full extension and jump at the right angle. You don't have to tuck super hard. That's still something I need to work on better. Even though I have fairly strong abs, I'm not able to pull them in the best, but still working on that. And there's a big difference when I do pull hard versus when I don't. And third is getting the landing right. A lot of times you'll find that you land a little short and you're, you'll land a uh, frog leg and also with your hands on the ground, which is alright if you're beginning, but you want to try to land in a fully standing up position just like this, if you can. And also avoid opening the legs too early because that will stop your rotation and that will force you to land with the hands out in front of you. Well, if those three aspects, you get those right, you'll have a good backflip. Once again, don't try this at home without the supervision of an expert professional. 